Yo, somebody asked me this the other day and I wanted to sit on it for a few days before I answered because I wanted to make sure I was giving the best answer that I could. <laughs> um, I don't have it on right now, but you guys know my barcode brand, uh, you know, Exception. It started from one thing and one thing only. Uh, I felt like I was placed in a box that I couldn't fit in. I grew up in a weird ass household. My mom was this Catholic Italian. My dad was a Palestinian Muslim where they didn't really talk much but I just was always in this spot where I didn't know what my identity was. Like I didn't know if I should conform to people on the Arabic side or I didn't, you know, it was just fucking weird to me. Like, you know, going to school, they were always like, hey, like, you're the terrorist, you're the camel jockey. Uh, and like to the Arabic friends I try to get to, like, it was always, oh, you're not really an Arab, like you're in half breed, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, man, what the fuck? Like, I don't know where I fit in in this whole you know, niche of people thing. So I just told myself like, man, I'm just going to be me. I don't give a damn what people think of me. And that's it. I think that after I started, you know, doing music full time, I had to sit with myself and say like, what will I brand myself off of? And that's exactly what happened. It was just like, no, I can create a brand tied in with my passion to you know, bring awareness to things that matter. And that's exactly what Exception is. It's just defeating the social labels that have been systematically placed against you. Um, it sounds cheesy, it sounds corny, but it's real, you know, and I, I will stick with that to the day I die. It's tatted on my arm for a reason, because it's dope. And it's, you know, it's authentic. And I'll take that over all this other shit any day. I don't need to be talking about getting bitches in my songs or, you know, getting money. Those things really don't matter when it comes to know what you do and what you sit with at the end of the day when you lay in bed um, if your foundation isn't right i just i don't know like all these rappers are talking about the most stupid shit in these songs bro <laughs> like, like shut the fuck up man i'm a product of drugs and poverty from cleveland ohio and i don't need to talk about that shit now that i got it like it it doesn't mean that you are somebody or you have some type of status or validation because you have those things. The culture is rigged. It needs some type of digestion and dissection um, because at its current state, it only six. It only at its current state, it just encloses the culture that the genre sits in. I think that it's just important to stay as present as possible i'd rather rap about shit that matters to me man not everything you know i'd be talking about girls in my songs too but i mean i, I don't got to talk about things that are not true to my story like i don't get validation from getting bitches i don't get validation from having a bunch of money or money <laughs> like the people have in their fucking videos where it's just probably motion art money like prop money but I, I just don't get the same fulfillment from that. I don't get the same fulfillment from that attention. I used to. Uh, of course, I've been in that situation. But I was a young kid. And a lot of young kids are the ones that are making these co types of content and are being misled in certain directions that can turn to harming themselves and harming the people that follow them. Exception's dope, man. It, it's super dope. And I, I promise I'll stand by it forever. But it's... One thing I do, one thing I believe in is a brand is allowed to adapt. It's allowed to change and it needs to change. You know, it's not always going to be the same thing. I think that for me, my mindset and my spirituality and, you know, my ideas and opinions are constantly changing because perspective is so much more important than perception, you know, internal versus external. So exception is also backed on just having that open mind create an exception to your daily you know thought processes because at the end of the day if you can't expand your mindset to be open to other individuals one you're never going to create change two you're never going to be able to fully understand the people in your corner and i'll say that you're never going to be able to truly get your point across and you know help people understand your mindset to create the change or get people to see it the way you want them to. <laughs> if you can't 
be willing to have an open mind and expand if you if you're not willing to expand your mind to hear somebody else's point of view how do you expect them to receive your perception i think that is just the main fundamental of it staying as aware and present as possible be willing to have your mindset challenged you don't have to change just be willing to be challenged if you can't do that then i one i will call you out in your leadership I don't think that you're willing to lead a polis. I don't think that you're able to, you know, have any consistency when it comes to having a public image, especially if you're doing it in the role of diversity and whatever the case is. I don't know. I just think that you should always be as present as possible and make sure that you don't see yourself above anybody either, but you're definitely not below anybody. There's a big difference there, bro. Best believe that. Like, you know, 10 toes down, chin up, chest out, like always. But that doesn't mean you have to be cocky. That doesn't mean that you have to be arrogant. Just be present, man. Just fucking be a human and talk to people. That's important. A lot of people don't see that. I don't know. Maybe I'll just build different.